We are getting closer day by day to the trade deadline, and that means that top prospects could be on the move. I'm joined today by Carlos Pena. And Carlos, when you were on your way up the ladder to the majors, did you ever notice the chatter around the trade deadline? Oh, absolutely. It's almost impossible to ignore it. And the thing is this, you can't control it, so why even worry about it? Uh, but it's easier said than done. I mean, you have to really focus in your game, staying within your approach, and, and not let all that noise distract you. At the end of the day, you're really playing for the entire major leagues, and you have to yeah, understand that no one is untouchable. I was the number one prospect for Texas when I got traded to Oakland. I was the number one prospect for Oakland when I got traded to Detroit. So you can be in the move at any time, play your game, and forget about the things that are just out of reach as far as controlling them. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. The first of this three-game weekend series between the Wichita Wind Surge and the Tulsa Drillers. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Nick Clements, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40, so he's going to have to cut that down. Limit the amount of... To the plate now is the designated hitter, Kobe Bryant. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Wheel leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Squared that one up just a little late. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Round hard, round hard. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. That's why you have to close the door when you can. They had two outs, but the three hole hitter rips a single, bringing the cleanup man to the plate, and he does what he's paid to do cash in an RBI opportunity with a well hit double. So now to the play, Taylor Jelikowski. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Swing and a liner. That's in the base hit. Ben Rortvet, first at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. One and one. Here it is. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play the couple. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. You always want to spot your pitcher a run or two early on, so he has a little bit of wiggle room, but that double, they're a 3 nothing and absolutely cruising. But this guy on the mound. Ready now is Kobe Bryant. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And
and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Ravello is under it, two gone. Next to stand in is Kobe Bryant. The designated hitter. Kobe Bryant. Now here's the first offering. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Digging in will be Kobe Bryant. He now flew back. out in his last day <laughs> being. Kobe Bryant. Now the first pitch. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. Leonard is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Had a long way to go to make that running catch. And yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Four to two of the final oh, score tonight. Score. The wind surge for the jumped out to an early surge. lead in the first Four and never looked back. Hits. Glenn no Sparkman they with his fourth win this base. season. Juan Manaya wraps it up for the save, for the his 19th two of the campaign. So that'll put Whatever. a wrap on they things here this evening. From my base. partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation. So now here is Johnny Parsons. He'll lead things off here Diego, in the bottom half of the Tulsa. first. The left now here it comes. Johnny Parsons. Fellas are visiting That's team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They come in just trying to get their feet wet here in this new campaign as they've split their first four ball games. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they could put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. Two balls and a strike to count. And the pitch on two and one. That's ball three. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Full count, here it comes. Grounded back up the middle. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Next up, Omar Estevez. Batting second. Not first offering. Oh, Estevez. Parsons on it first. Nobody out. Fastball called for strike two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one on to first, and they get the double play. Now to bat, Ronald Lozano. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. We've played an inning still nothing. nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter Blake Galen He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game swung on and missed its 0 and 1. This is on the ground One. over to first. And he'll step oh. on first for the out. Three unassisted. So now into the box is Ron Ravillo. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate oh, last night. 
And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Here we go. Into center field, line drive base hit. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Batting fifth. The Ready with the first man. pitch. Here it comes. Jake Peter comes Peter. on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Struck him out. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Batting seven. So now to the plate, Christian Santana. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Sped him up and slowed him down right there. This guy cannot seem to get on time with this pitcher. It's going to be a tough day if he continues to be out in front on the off speed and behind on the heat and he won't offer it that too high one and two now a ball lying toward the alley in left center and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases no runner, no runner. the run comes across to score and they jump ahead one nothing so much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes it. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Todd Hickett comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And it's fouled away. The one one misses for the second ball. side but it's going to be a foul ball the 2 2 bouncer to the left side and that's out number one Now to the plate, Johnny Parsons. The left fielder, number nine, Johnny Parsons. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. Fastball in there for a called strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Nope. One oh, strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. The 1-1 one, one home. Grounded one, one, one. to the right. Two, two, two. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, cut, cut, cut. staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. And now here is Ronald Lozano. He the bounced batter. out Number last eight. time up. Here's the hitter. first pitch to him. Oh, oh, and a fastball oh, to start oh, things oh. out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. 
Grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading and up. next to battle will be the outfielder, the Blake Galen. First pitch on its way. Galen. High in the air out to center field. Whitefield is right there, one down. Into the box, Ron Hell Ravello. He singled now, first time up. Base. Yeah, Batty, pressure's off now, right now. He extended his hitting streak that on. last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Good change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Grounded weekly toward One. third. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Stepping in next, Jake Peter, over for one for him here in this one. Second baseman, Jake Peter. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey. Ball and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling it. Right. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five, we go. The drillers lead it 1 to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the Leading third up, baseman, Tulsa, Christian Santana. The third baseman, Christian Santana. First pitch on its way. Oh. And that misses for ball one. Well Here below we the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. And here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. High in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Next, here is Diego Cartaya. He's 0 Catcher. for 1 thus far. Diego. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now at the plate, Todd Hackett grounded out now in his back. last at right bat. Fielder. First pitch of the AB on its Hackett. way. Wind up and the 0 1. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Five innings complete. Tulsa's out in front here. One to Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in the Leading outfielder, the Johnny Parsons. The left fielder. Johnny Ready to deal. Here comes Parsons. the first pitch. Whoa, Didn't quite down. catch the zone there. Ball one. Hey, nobody out. Nobody out. Uh, 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not ball swinging three. at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. One strike. Hit back up the middle. And there's one away. And now in the box, Omar Estevez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second. And there are two away now. Stepping in once again is Ronald Lozano. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And it's one and two. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that. Hit on the ground to short, reined in, and safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Blake now, Blake Gamer. This will swing and left a fly ball to right center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no error. Striding in is Ron Hell Ravello. One for two on his line so far in the game. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back showing some resiliency and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead locking down that W one ball no strikes to count now the 1 0 and he fouls this one off the 1 1 is in there for the second strike Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Next to hit, Jake Peter. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a fair down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. One and one, here it comes. Count is one and two now. On its way is pitch number 75. Ball inside. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2 2. Hit on the ground out to short. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Ladies well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that now third at bat after getting his. He 
He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one the final. Wichita jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Kobe Bryant earns win number seven on the season. Mike Kickham pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Juan Manaya hammers down the save his 20th of the season. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more don't forget to check out the show.com. runners left on base. Future stars are on display as minor league baseball. He's out. Now to the plate, here is Johnny Parsons. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. Tulsa, the left field. Pitch on the way. Johnny. A Parsons. ball hit hard to the left side. A two, leaping two, try, two, two. but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. That's At the plate, stop. Omar Estevez, Omar. as he will take strike one on the Estevez. fastball here. No balls and a strike. Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. Been a fairly yeah. decent start to the year. Three and two in their first five. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dio, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Next, it'll be Ronald Lozano. No one on that base for him after the double the play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way that to get cool. hits. Yeah, he usually no, hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Lozano at second with two down. Well, that's Fastball bad. here misses low, and it's back to even now at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal... You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different looking at a fastball to end the inning. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. So here is Zach Rex. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And it's one and one. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes. Hit in the air to center field. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now with the plate is Ron Hell Rebello. Batting six. The first baseman. Here's the first pitch to him. Hello. One out, nobody on. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. Batting seven. 
First delivery to him. Christian Santana is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. Runners on first with one down. That evens it up 1 and 1. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. That Into the box, Joaquin the Zarco. Baseman. Popped him up. Zarco. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. One hit, one left. We played two full. The wind surge lead it. One. Three. Bottom of the third now, and now it'll be the catcher, Diego Cartaya. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. This is swung on and grounded to the shortstop, Riddle. Throw to first, and he can't come up with it. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Johnny Parsons singled in his last at-bat. He's set, here it comes. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Whitefield is there, and he has it for the first out. The Hulk, nobody. At the plate now is Omar Estevez. Now batter. Not shortstop. And now the first pitch. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into third. And he's safe. Now's a good time for your pitcher to take a deep breath. He still has the lead, although it probably doesn't feel like it. So he can't worry about how he got into this mess. He just has to figure out how to get out of this mess. Ronald Lozano comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they are on the board. It's a sack fly and an RBI to make this a three to one game now. So next to hit is Blake Galen. 0 for 1 went down looking his first time up. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. To one and two now. Estevez is off of first with two away. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So one run here on one hit, one error in the inning. So stepping in is Zach Rex. Leading off for Tulsa, the right fielder. Zach. First offering. Rex. Lifted in the air to center field. Whitefield is right there, one down. So next to bat will be Ronhel Ravello, who now collected bat. a base first hit his base first base. time up. Ravello. Ravello. The pitch. Count one and oh. Where's it first here? The windup and the one oh pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. On the ground to third. Right to him. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. 
Next up is Christian Santana. Struck now, out in his first at bat. Basement. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that's through for a base hit, making him one for two in this one. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right there. That ball found the ball. That's a tough thing. You make a ball and pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side. Normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Another 0-2 come. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Digging in next, Diego Cartaya. Two men Catcher. on, two away Diego. here in the fourth. Cartaya. Now the first pitch. Drilled to the left side. Riddle gathers it in. Throw on to first, and they'll escape the danger created by the error. The inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Johnny Parsons. First delivery to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Now at the plate, here is Omar Estevez. Singled last time up. Shortstop. Estevez. Count even now at one and one. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the DH, Ronald Lozano. Now here's the first offering. Hits are even right now at five aside. Line drive to left. And that's in for a base hit. His second in as many trips to the plate. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting by your three-hole guy right there. First two guys, not so the much. Field. Now they bring Number up the monster two. in the four-hole with two outs. They have a chance to make a nice inning. Yeah. To the plate now, Blake Galen. Tying run at the plate. The 0-1 lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning Leading and standing in the outfielder, the Zach Rex. A bit high there. A ball and no Count strikes. And this is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A ball and two strikes. The count is one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fly ball out toward left center field. Contreras comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. 
Next to dig in, Ron Hell Ravello, now who singled in First two trips baseman. to the plate thus far. First pitch of the AB now. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Hey, you want to talk no about play. being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Slow roller down the third baseline. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. In now, now Christian Paddock. Santana as the changeup to him drops in there for the first drive. And that misses one and one. One and one. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they, they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. One ball, one strike to count. 1-1. One, one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Again, another foul ball. High and deep down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Again, a 1-2. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. 1-2, and two, here it comes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Four, four, four. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Your attention, now time called here is here comes the skipper. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Wichita get the win despite three errors in the field. Kobe Bryant earns his eighth victory of the season. Juan Manaya records the save, his 21st of the Our year. So that entire crew. A coach hopes to help his player get more out of his plate appearances.